So this is clean. This is also clean. But this, this is something else. This video is brought to you by our sponsor, cdkeyoffer.com. This April, they will be having a spring sale for Windows 11 Pro and Windows 10 Pro. To avail, go to their website, click on Windows 11 Pro, and buy now. Use our code HS20 to get a 25% discount. Our sponsor, cdkeyoffer, is also offering up to 25% discount for Windows 10 Pro activation keys, as well as Office 2016. Use our code HS20 to avail. And then click on Submit Order. Choose your preferred payment method and proceed with the payment. Once payment is complete, click on User Center and there you can see your code. And once you get your code, go to Windows 11 Activation and enter the code you just got to activate your version of Windows. So if you need safe, legit, and original software, check out cdkeyoffer.com. So what we have here is a Project Zero build from MSI. Project Zero is MSI's clever take on cable management. And basically, if you just take a glance at it, there's nothing too different about it except that there are no wires or cables at the front. Well, of course, except for the GPU and the radiator tubes. But for everything else, the EPS, the 24-pin, all the front panel headers and the USB headers, all of those cables are gone. Well, not exactly gone, they're at the back. That is because of the way the Project Zero motherboard handles all the headers. Everything is at the back. So to achieve this, you need two specific components from MSI. First, of course, is a Project Zero motherboard. In this case, we have a Project Zero B760M motherboard. And of course, MSI's compatible case, the MSI Pano M100R. So starting with the Project Zero motherboard, here are some notable specs. It has a 12 plus 1 plus 1 DRPS power design. It has 2.5 gigabit LAN. It supports, of course, Lightning Gen 5. DDR5 support, Lightning 20G, heat sinks for all the VRMs and the chipset, and of course the NVMe slots, which they call the M.2 Shield Frozer, support for Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3, one PCIe 5.0 X16 slot, a PCIe 4.0 X16 slot, and one PCIe 3.0 X1 slot. For the storage, it has a total of two M.2 Gen 4 slots and four SATA ports. For USB and other connections, it has one USB 3.2 Gen 2 X2, <laughs> it's the Type-C one, four USB 3.2 Gen 2, and two USB 3.2 Gen 1. It has an 8-channel 7.1 HD audio with audio boost. And last but not the least, it has the back connect design, which lets you achieve the cableless front look. So the other half of that Project Zero puzzle is the MSI Pano M100R case. So for specs, it is an MATX case that features a 270 degree view of the case with the clever way that the glass front panel is designed. For ports, it has one USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A, a 3.2 Gen 2 X2 Type C, one audio out and mic in, an LED switch button where you can control RGB, and of course the power button. 
For drives, it can support two 2.5-inch drives or one 2.5-inch and a 3.5-inch hard drive. It has five expansion slots and can support up to 390mm of GPU and 175mm of CPU coolers. It supports an ATX power supply up to 200mm and speaking of cooling, it can support three 120mm at the top or two 140mm, one 120mm at the back or one 140mm, and for the side, it can support up to three 120mm, which are included. And there's also a slot at the bottom for one 120mm and two 120mm for the PSU shroud. For the pre-installed fans, all four are 120mm and ARGB. But for the side, they are reverse blades and the rear is a normal one. For radiators, it can support up to 360mm at the top. And basically, that's it. You can't mount a radiator at the side. Overall dimensions is 440 by 235 by 405 millimeters. So that kind of makes it a fairly large MATX case. Again, this video is brought to you by our sponsor, cdkeyoffer.com. This April, they will be having a spring sale for Windows 11 Pro and Windows 10 Pro, as well as Office 2016. Head on to cdkoffer.com, use our code HS20 to get a 25% discount. Once payment is made, you'll receive the zero key on your account. Use this key on Windows activation on your Windows machine and activate. And just like that, your Windows OS is now activated. Visit cdkoffer.com to avail. So how was the build overall? So these units, they're actually for a customer, so MSI did not send any of these. And we've had our chief builder, Gerald, build this thing, which around here is the prime authority for cable management. So I've had him review this case. So in his words, for cable management, you would have to kind of look at it differently since all the ports are at the back. So if you're an experienced builder, you have to take note that there is more slack, more cable slack that you have to manage since the cables do not have to go over to the front of the case. While cable management difficulty at the back is pretty much the same, Jerry recommends that you do not use a PSU with a braided type cable. Get one of those that have the flat cables since you would have to be folding a lot of them. Another thing that is kind of a miss for MSI is while the USB front panel header is right angle, for some ridiculous reason, the USB-C one is not. So you would have to kind of awkwardly bend the cable. And for him, it was kind of uncomfortable, but nonetheless, it worked. There is an ARGB controller hub included with the case, which makes cable management even less of a hassle. For some final notes, the cable-less front look would be more apparent with the white version of this. The clean look isn't as emphasized using the black case for this, but nonetheless, it's a very clean look. For build quality, we did notice that this isn't the most solid metal case we've had. Some of the panels do bend, but they're not structurally compromised that we won't recommend this case. We'd give it a B plus for the overall build quality. As for modularity, there isn't a lot of configurations you can explore with this. For example, as I've said, you only have one option to mount an AIO, and the front panel being glass, you really only have the side or the top or the PSU shroud to mount fans. For compatibility, the MSI Pano case does have cable routes for if you want to use a normal motherboard for this. So there's no reason not to use this for a non-Project Zero build. However, for the motherboard, you do need a case that has a back connect design. Overall, we see this as a very nice proof of concept. And frankly, I'm very excited for what MSI and the other manufacturers have in store for the next iteration of this back connect concept. As you can notice, and as we've said, this really isn't a completely cableless solution as the GPU still needs to have power at the front. But we are starting to see GPUs that have connectors at the back of it. Or for example, for ASOS, they do have GPUs that draw power from the motherboard. So we're very excited for the generation 2 of this. That would be very interesting. But for now, we see this for what it is. It is a very nice and very usable proof of concept. If you're interested to build a Project Zero build of your own, you can contact us and we can custom order one for you. Thank you for watching.